Hey everyone, welcome back to Rangers Ready Go. It is two days before Christmas, and as you see, I am in a new location. Um, finally moved out of that small cramped apartment. Um, as you saw for a long time there, I was cramped in a small little corner. Um, no longer, um, have a way bigger setup now, as you can see. I'm still working on it, so you'll see more things uh, start to pop up in the background from time to time. Um, but uh, um, Merry Christmas, everyone. Um, 2017 is almost over. It's hard to believe. This year just kind of flew by. Um, but uh, speaking of flying by, um, this is going to be my review of Power Rangers Ninja Steel Episode 22, Past, Presence, and Future. Uh, I mentioned flying by because I'm thankful that the year is over because the Power Rangers Ninja Steel is now over. <clears throat> that is until... Jan, probably like the middle or end of January in 2018 when they're going to premiere Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel. So <laughs> I got a break for a little while, but I digress. Power Rangers Ninja Steel Episode 22, Past, Presence, and Future, actually aired December 2nd, um, on Saturday, December 2nd. Even though it was the beginning of the month, they could have waited a little bit longer. Why didn't they air their Christmas episode, like, today? Today is Saturday, the 23rd. Why didn't, why didn't they do it today? Or last week, even? Why did they do it at the beginning of the month? And then, because even then, they only re-ran it one time on Nickelodeon. So, I don't get it. You figure if you're going to come out with that early with a Christmas episode, you're going to probably want to air it at least every week, following week, you know, after that, up until Christmas. No, I checked the schedule on Nickelodeon. Um, <clears throat> they didn't rerun it last week, and they didn't, they're not rerunning it today. So, missed opportunity. It wasn't really that great of a, of a Christmas episode anyway. Um, we got more reused footage, and uh, they rehashed uh, the same monster from uh, a, couple, a couple episodes before this. I believe it was episode, episode 18 or 19 or something like that, that they rehashed the same monster. I'll, I'll get to that in just a second. Anyway, the episode opens with the Rangers, or the former Rangers, because they lost their power stars in the previous episode, um, uh, because the Ninja Nexus star um, basically was damaged and their, their power stars disintegrated. They disappeared. So now appear, apparently they no longer have their powers, um, but we're still, we still have a Power Rangers show to do, so whatever. The episode opens with all of the Rangers <clears throat> opening pre Christmas presents in their high school. Does a, the principal just let them in to, to do this? Do, do, these, do these kids have homes? They mention their moms and their dads. We've even seen, uh, you know, the Blue Ranger Preston's dad, and we've seen the Pink Ranger Sarah's mom, and obviously we know who Levi and, <clears throat> and Brody's father is. Where's the rest of their family? Why are they not there opening Christmas presents with them? That makes no damn sense. So... Anyway, they're opening gifts, and everyone seems to be happy and jolly. It's Christmas time. Um, come to find out that Sarah, the Pink Ranger, uh, it seems as if the rest of the Rangers didn't get her a gift. Not a single one? A little strange. They've been together fighting evil for, I don't know, <clears throat> they claim for like, what, it was like eight, eight or nine months now since they, since they became a Ranger, you know, Rangers or something like that. But none of them got the Pink Ranger a gift? That's a little bit hard to believe. Well, as the Pink Ranger discovers this, she seems to get a little bit emo, a little bit broody, a little bit upset. <clears throat> and it looks like she's going to get it ready to just basically up and leave her friends, you know, near the Christmas tree in the middle of their high school auditorium. Um, well, not auditorium, the, the lobby, I guess it would be. The high school lobby. Um, just as she's getting ready to leave, the same cat monster, and it is the same cat monster, obviously from um, uh, from Shuriken Sentai Nin Ninja. It's, this, it's the same monster, even though uh, this monster is claiming not to be. Um, the, uh, the monster I'm referring to um, was... Uh, uh, what was this monster's name? It was... Um, cat something. It was obviously a cat reference to something, but... Uh, this monster is the same monster speaking with a female's voice now, claiming to be a, a different monster, even though it's the same, called Cleocatra. Lame. 
Anyway, she claims that the other cat monster was her favorite cousin, and this cat monster just happens to look exactly like her favorite cousin, has the same time device as her cousin that froze the rangers the last time, um, and that's exactly what this cat monster proceeds to do. Cleocatra freezes the rangers near the Christmas tree, except for Sarah, who dodges it, um, attacks the monster, knocks the time machine, the, the little time device, out of the cat's hands, she grabs it, and runs leaving her friends frozen there when she could have just used the machine right then and there to unfreeze, you know, the rest of her friends. But anyway, she runs out to the back of the uh, school through their command center, if you want to call it that, the school's, uh, you know, metal shop, their shop, runs out into the, um, I guess what you could call the... She runs out outside. Let's put it that way. She runs outside and she seems to trip... She looks, she looks back to see if the monster's behind her, and then she trips and falls backwards. She falls into Santa's sleigh. Santa's there. What? Santa? The same Santa, by the way, that was in the episode of Power Rangers um, uh, Dino Supercharge. Yeah, the exact same Santa, just sitting there in his sleigh out in the open, outside of this high school, claiming that he's there to check on Victor and Monty, whether or not he should put them on the naughty list. Yes, put them on the damn naughty list. They're bad. In many ways. And that's one thing I want to mention real quick. Victor and Monty, aside from a flashback that you see, they're not in this episode whatsoever. It's a miracle. You can do it, Saban. You guys can do an episode of Power Rangers Ninja Steel without the ass clowns Victor and Monty. Thank you. Unfortunately, most of this is just a flashback episode. Anyway, Sarah, the Pink Ranger, now with Santa, again, sitting in the, his sleigh in the middle of the open outside of the high school, with no reindeer, by the way. Where the hell was his reindeer? The cat approaches, and then Sarah all of a sudden starts just hitting random buttons on the time device. It opens a black hole, like a wormhole. Santa and the Pink Ranger and his sleigh get sucked into it. Again, no reindeer or anything. Obviously, I guess Saban couldn't afford either real reindeer or even CG reindeer. He just decided to X out, X out the reindeer altogether. Uh, again, there's your big budget production. As they're in the wormhole, Sarah decides to, oh, I'm going to use this advice to travel back to points in the past, hence the flashbacks that I mentioned, to get the rangers power stars to bring them back to the future so they can morph and defeat this new cat ring this new this new cat monster really dumb idea really really dumb idea for many reasons if anyone who's no one knows anything about time travel this is just a bad idea and it's been done to death so first off she travels back to get her own power star from herself back in the episode where uh, she was cloning herself using uh, holographic uh, projectors. And all she had to say was, I'm you from the future. I can prove it. We have the same diary. Okay, here's my power star. Good luck. And that's my problem with this episode. My big problem with this episode is that when she goes back to all these points in the past to get the Rangers power stars, they all just give her the power stars. They don't ask any questions or anything. Especially the white and yellow ranger, H Haley and uh, Calvin. They just, they just, she's just like, can I borrow, can I have your power stars? Sure. Wow. That was hard. Except for the blue ranger and the red ranger. The blue ranger, she goes back to the episode where they had, where Victor and Monty had started the food fight when Haley and Calvin were running for school president. She just basically sneaks up behind the Blue Ranger and steals his power star. Thief. There's your hero for you. And so that one was probably the easiest one. She just appears behind him, grabs it, steals it right out of his back pocket, or his, his bag, whatever, and, 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 and travels back to Santa. The Red Ranger Brody, on the other hand, he was the... She decided to travel back to the episode, obviously, where... Brody and Mick 
were on the run from Galvanax and his goons after they had captured the rest of the Rangers and basically, and the rest of the Ninja Steel, all of, and their Power Stars, and the only Power Star left was Brody's. But somehow, even though Brody said that I can't give it to you, it's the last one we have, and the rest of you, and everyone else is in trouble, I need to save them, he still gives her the Power Star. Granted, she's supposed to, like, travel back and give them all their Power Stars back again, but again, that makes no sense. Time paradoxes are a very fickle thing, people. I don't... I'm not, I'm not even going to try to hurt my brain over this. But... Anyway, he gives her his power star, even though he needed it at that, at that point in time. And then proceeds to ask, you're from the future, obviously you're all, you're all okay, tell me how this all ends. And she says the most cliche thing is, I can't do that because it'll change the future. Isn't that what she's doing right now, is trying to change the future? If she went back and passed to the past to get all the Rangers power stars... Everything that happened in between, following up to the point where she travels back, the Rangers would not have their power stars. Right? So, again, time paradoxes are strange. I, 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 I'm not even going to try to explode every brain cell that I have to try to figure it out. It's a TV show, after all. A very, uh, a very lame one at this point. Um considering most of Ninja Steel was lame, there was maybe, what, two good episodes? Um, which was like, I don't know, like, the first episode and the episode where they finally defeat Galvanax. Those were like the only two good episodes in my mind, so far. Um, and they decide to end Power Rangers Ninja Steel on a Christmas special, a Christmas episode, which, again, is just really weird. Um, because the next episode after this, obviously, is going to be the first episode of Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel. Well, she, after she collects all the Power Stars, she goes back to the future. She still has the time device, which is strange. Once she, Here's the thing. Once she gets the time device back, or once she has... Basically, once she's back with all the Power Stars, she just basically hits some buttons on the on the device, on the time device, and the wormhole stops, and her and Santa are back at the school. Why didn't she do that in the first place? Why did she stay in the wormhole? She could have, they could have got out of the wormhole and went and hid somewhere else. So, again, trying to save money for locations and sets by having the entire, ep almost the entire episode, flashbacks, and then Santa and Sarah being stuck in the same repeating loop effect back in the background where they're in the wormhole apparently and Santa's just holding the reins of the sleigh with no reindeer. There are so many inaccuracies in this episode. It makes it made me laugh and, and cry at the same time. I was cringing on the inside the whole time watching this episode. But she they get out of the wormhole. She goes and unfreezes the rest of the Rangers, gives them the power stars. Of course, they have no idea how she got the power stars back. She says, oh, I'll explain later. They morph, they defeat Cleocatra, which is, the, again, the same monster as a couple episodes ago. Um, and, that's, and that's it. The only real highlight is that Brody gets a hold of the time device. And like an idiot, he just starts hitting buttons on it. What did he think it was going was gonna to do? He ends up hitting the enlargement button and makes himself grow. To the size of a zord which we don't really see often i think we've only seen that like maybe once or twice in all of super sentai or power rangers but he grows to giant zord size and says i'm a giant ranger I, i'm a, i guess i i'm a mega ranger no you're not no you're not denji sentai mega ranger is a way better series than this even the american version's power ranger in space was a way better series than this so don't make references that you know nothing about Anyway, Brody, as a giant Mega Ranger, teams up with his Zord, Redbot, I guess. That's basically what he is. And they take down the cat monster. There was no, um, there was no, there was no actual Zord fight, like no Mega Zord in this, in this episode. They defeat the monster. <clears throat> Sarah apparently goes back to the past to give the 
power stars back to themselves in the past. Travels back. They're at they're at the school. They're in the command center, and she decides to destroy the time device. And she does this by proceeding to put the time device in a cast iron pot over the fireplace, or just over a fire. She just sets it in there, and literally a second later, it just it sparks electricity and poofs. I don't think it works that way. A solid metal electronic device would take a hell of a lot longer to melt down and destroy over a fire than one second. That is where I just lost it. I'm like, that was just so bad. They could have thrown it into the ocean. They could have smashed it with a sledgehammer. It would have been more effective and, 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 and quick. No, it, it's a Christmas episode, so let's give everyone a nice, warm, toasty feeling by putting it in a pot over a fireplace. <sighs> and that was episode 22, past, presence, and future of Dino Rain... Sorry, Power Rangers Ninja Steel. I've got Dino Rangers on the brain, people. There, I'm sorry, there's... <sighs> I'd rather be watching a Dino, Dino Ranger uh, series right now. Seriously. Um, I can't wait for another one, for, you know, for a new one. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm a tad bit rusty. It's been a while since I've done a review of any kind because I've been so busy moving into this large house. Everything's still not unpacked completely. I'm still working on everything. Running cords, um, hanging pictures, getting collectibles to where I need to, to where I want them. Just fine-tuning everything is taking a lot longer than I expected. So I think it's been like three weeks um, since I did a video, but trust me, um, here really soon, probably starting next week, um, I'll be back on my normal schedule for reviews. Um, not only Power Ranger series episode reviews, um, whatever that may be, whatever I decide to do, um, and obviously more collector's reviews. Still have tons and tons and tons of collector's reviews to do um, that I've been sandbagging on either recording or just editing, rendering, and uploading because I've been so busy, guys. But um, I'm not going to go ahead and call this a holiday special of any kind, um, even though I'm wearing a nice little Star Wars Santa hat. Um, I wish it was a Power Rangers Santa hat, but I figure Star Wars is just as good. It can the new uh, the new movie The Last Jedi just came out last Friday, so I might as well uh, might as well plug that a little bit, even though uh, I'm not sponsored in any way. Um, but that's something I'm thinking about working on is uh, is maybe uh, maybe trying to start some monetization, not uh, not for myself, but uh, just to see if I could do it. Just to, just to I'm not trying to prove anything to myself. I'm just trying to prove something to everyone else that I'm not I don't do this for the money but if I could get some that'd be nice and uh, obviously um, it wouldn't all just be for me I would continue to uh, buy better equipment buy more uh, uh, buy more uh, collectibles so I have more reviews to do basically any money I would get from monetization from YouTube would go back into YouTube um, because I already have a day job so I don't need I don't need the money from YouTube for anything else except YouTube so, Merry Christmas, everyone. 2017 is almost over. Uh, and by the time I see you guys next time, it'll be 2018. So, uh, until then, once again, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and I hope everyone has a blessed and special New Year. Rangers ready. <laughs>